find the inflection points and regions of concavity for the function f of x equal to x squared minus 36 over x minus 2. So we want to get the second derivative into the picture. Before we do that, we'll need to sort out the domain. Now, I have a rational function. So our rule for the domain of a rational function is all real numbers except where the denominator is equal to 0. So here, our domain is all real numbers except for x equal to 2. Next, OK, if I want to get the second derivative, we got to get the first derivative. If we just plow into this, it's going to be two quotient rules, and that's going to be a huge mess. So we'll want to simplify our function first. You have two options for that. You can either long divide or you can use synthetic division. Either way, what's going to happen? When I divide x minus 2 into x squared minus 36, I'm going to get x plus 2 minus 32 over x minus 2. So that's my function. I'll rewrite that as x plus 2 minus 32 times x minus 2 to the minus first power. And now I can take the derivative of that. The x goes to a 1. Then on the other term, we use the chain rule. Minus 1 comes down. It's going to be x minus 2 to the minus 2. And then derivative of the inside is equal to 1. OK, so that's my first derivative. Second derivative. Okay, again, it's going to be chain rule. The 1 goes to 0. We bring the minus 2 down. Derivative of the inside is 1. And our exponent goes to a minus 3. So we have this. That we can rewrite as minus 64 over x minus 2 cubed. All right, let's take a look at what we have. So here, there are no points where our second derivative is equal to 0. The only place where we're dividing by 0 is at 2. But that's where our vertical asymptote is. So right off the bat, we won't have any inflection points. Okay, there's no points where we're going to have a change of concavity that's not happening over our vertical asymptote. So let's figure out the concavity on each side of the asymptote. So what's going to happen? We're going to check one point on each side. So I'll use 0 and 4. If I put 0 into the second derivative, what happens? We're looking at minus 64 over minus 8, which is 8. So we're going to be concave up on this region. And if you note, our function bears that out. On the other region, we put a 4 in. We're going to get a minus 64 over 8. That's going to give us a minus 8. So we'll be concave down on that region. So that's over here. And the function bears that out also. So we have our switch from concave up to concave down. But 2 can't be an inflection point because it's not even in the domain. Okay, We have a vertical asymptote there.